We are back in Adri. Oh man, look at this. Look at this area. It is beautiful, but we're going inside today. It's time to work on the Church of the End interior. Right after this. Welcome back to the Realm of Vast and everybody. Like I said, we're back in Adri and look at this area. It looks so good. I'm so proud of this area. I just think it's it's so full of inspiration and there's, there's cool waterfalls over there. Oh man, I'm so excited. I'm so, so, so pumped. The only thing is that whenever you walk in this beautiful church, you see nothing, nothing, nothing at all. In fact, it's even worse whenever you open this door and you look down, uh, the fall has nothing. And the fall's kind of a big deal in the church at the end, right? So we gotta get working on that first. So first thing I think we're gonna have to do is probably figure out where the pews are gonna be. The problem is the way I have these pillars here, there are there's some obstructed views. <laughs> so I don't know exactly what we're gonna do. I don't know, hmm. I don't know how to work this out exactly. I'm gonna have to think this through just a little bit, maybe try out a couple different things. Let me try some stuff. I brought a whole inventory full of stuff from from uh, and your dress and uh, I'm ready, to, ready to get cracking here, but I, I gotta work out a plan first. Let me think of it. Oh, that's open to the sky. Okay, gotta work on that too. Uh, I'll be back. Let me think this through. All right, the first thing I think I wanna do is I wanna to try to thicken these guys up just a wee little bit here and I'm gonna to have to probably, yep, that's not how you do it. <laughs> Let's just do this and this, make a crafting bench just to have out here and then we'll deal with, it. we'll put up. <laughs> Typical me. Okay, anyway, uh, yeah, let's see. I want to do that maybe? No, no, I think I have a stone cutter here. I think I'd rather use stone brick stairs. Let me try this, Let me make a whole, whole bunch of them. The reason why I'm using stone brick, even though I've used andesite on the bottom here, just for a little bit of color variation. I don't know if it's better or worse, but, oops. Um. I think it maybe is better. I don't know. Maybe it's worse. I can't really tell. I'm gonna have, I'm gonna have, there's going to be some trial and error here. As you know, interiors are not something that I'm an absolute master of. It's something I'm learning how to do and getting better with time. But I'm thinking that these might have banners. How many times am I going to do that same mistake? These might have banners on the pillars here. I'm not really sure, but I'm thinking that, that might that's a too tall. That might be a really good place for a banner. Something like that. And maybe this? Oh, that would be better to be a stair. Okay, let, let's make some... You know what? Let's just put some of these things down around here. Okay, I don't need the leaves right now. Um... I don't know, that's probably like a stack. That's probably enough. Let's do something like that. Okay, cool. All right, and maybe tables, like dark oak tables right there. That could be kind of cool for like, I don't know. Uh, we'll put we'll put some sort of item frame or something like that, but I think that would be a good place to have some sort of decoration here. Now, the other thing I want to remember in this Church of the End is that these people are extremely influenced by nature. They love nature and they're responsible for the giant forests of the world, right? So. Nature's going to play a really, really big role here. So we're going to have a bunch of leaves and a bunch of plants. In fact, I was actually thinking about that. So this tree over here and that tree in that corner are in really perfect places to sort of hide the obstructive views. So you can have benches all along here. Like, I don't know if we're going to use dark oak uh, pews here or not, but like, say we could do something like this, right? Uh, something like this would be really, really nice. In fact, actually, I think we probably will do this. That works really well. And it's just good pews. Like you could sit here and you could see wherever the, 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 is it a priest? I think it's a priest. I think that's the term we've used. It's a sage for the for the order of man. I think it's a priest for the church at the end. But but I'm thinking if we do something along these lines, uh, I think this is the same. And, and keep it the same on all sides. Not that guy. Not you. But then, then there's this spot over here. What do we do with this spot? Well, we could bring this out a little bit and make a bit of a triangle. And that would kind of work. Something like, the, like this, I think. But... That still leaves us running out of stairs. Where, where's my, where's my crafting bench? Regardless, though, even if we do this, which this really works well, uh, angling this one out, even though we can't angle that one out, but that still leaves us with this area. So I'm thinking, what if we made this a little bit of nature right here, right in inside the church? Because that that seems like it'd make sense. So we'd have a tree there and there, and on that side and this side, maybe a pond inside the church. I know that it's a little wacky, right? I, I know, I realize that, but. 
Let's just try it. Let's try to make a, a, a now it's very small, so we can't make that big of a shape, but hmm, I, I, I have a feeling, and I might be completely wrong here, but I have a feeling this is gonna work out really well. Let me see, I might, hmm, we'll put this here and that there. We, uh, what if we did, if I did a stair there, would I see that? Yeah, I would, right? I would, but, I could replace this slab with a full block, and then I could use a stair and a stair. In fact, actually, would that be better all in if I did that? I think it would, right? Um, replace that and put a stair there. And here and here. Okay, uh, what, uh, how's that now? Oh, see, that's kind of weird though, right? It's a little bit weird. It's a little weird because like you can see this. I guess I could do, I could do this. I can't do that. I need to have a block. Oh, I need to have a block. I can do that, but that kind of leaves us hanging over here. Let me think this through a bit. Folks, I think I have messed up. <laughs> I have messed up, I think. I have bad, I, well I had, I guess it's gone now. I had bad omen effect. I thought, no big deal. Uh, there are no villagers here. Well, uh, apparently either there are villagers here that I don't know about, or, um, well, or, um, yeah, I don't know. Apparently there are villagers here that I don't know about, or I don't know how the raids work. I don't know which one of those it is. It could be a both. It could be a mixture of both. But, uh, yeah, yeah, so I don't know where the raid is, and I don't think that I can beat it. <laughs> I only had level one. I only, I, I, I don't think I, I really don't think I killed that flag dude, but, oh, well, now there's another one. So now, great. I don't know. Maybe I can track these guys down and follow them to the, oh, are they even trying to, is this going to give me more bad omen? At this point, no, right? Yeah, no, okay. All right, so now it's just a raid. Well, I mean, can, can I beat this raid? Oh, let's find out. I found them. I found them. Uh, I'd feel a little better about this if they weren't surrounded by skeletons. So I think what I might try to do is draw only them out and not the creepers. Let's see if this works. Let's see why. Well, it's not going to work if I don't hit them. Let's see. Can I hit one of these guys. All I need to just hit one, I think. There must be a villager in around here that I didn't know about. Oh, there we go. Okay. All right. I, I have very few arrows. I have very few arrows, so uh, I probably should have gotten more. I probably should have gotten more, but let's see. Come on, come on. Okay. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's easy. It's easy when you're this skilled. There's a creep around here somewhere. I gotta watch him. He will definitely one-shot me. Look, look how many these guys there must be. Oh, there, there it is. It's all right. Okay. Who's shooting? I got more arrows. Ha! Ah. I don't know. Maybe there's a, a villager in this in this house. Die. Uh, oh, I'm out of arrows. Uh, let's see what's in here. No. <laughs> oh, I found them. I think that Frankenstein guy is going to give me trouble. He might be... Have people said he's like an invoker or something? He might be. Uh, I don't know. I, can't, I mean... Ugh, I have so few arrows, I can't miss. out from, from a distance. Oh, there's, there's more than one. Okay. All right. Uh, I'm just going to shoot all my arrows until I don't have any more, and then and then let the battle start. Uh, I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. Just kill them. Kill them. Kill them all. Kill them all. I hope there's some, some thrilling background music playing right now just to help with my lack of narration as, I, as I'm as i not getting attacked that much. I mean, I, uh, what's happening here? Um... I'm, I'm amazing. Maybe they're too scared. They're running around like crazy. Why are they just running around? I'm not, I'm not, I mean, hey, look. Look at this guy. He's running from me. He's so scared. This guy is so scared of me. This is amazing. I am amazing at raids. Take this out. Everyone who says I can't, I can't PvP. PvP series on the way. Oh, yeah. <laughs> thrilling. This is not as thrilling as I thought. Look at this guy. Look at this guy. Okay. Oh, no. Does that mean another raid? Oh, come on, man. Truly, I have spent 
at least 20, 25 minutes looking for this raid, like this second wave of raid, and I cannot find it. But what I can find is I can find this beautiful landscape that really has turned out well. Man, I love this area. Well, I don't know. So I guess unless they happen to pop up in the church, I guess we'll just have to let that tremendous victory in the raid uh, go and and just go take a look at the, uh, the interior that I've been working on all night. Yeah, I can't find these guys anywhere. I, I don't know. I, I'm just going to go with that the, the, the word got out of my PvP uh, ability and they just ran away because I I've searched I've searched everywhere. Is that is that them? Is that them? No, this is gray blocks. Okay, <laughs> just gray stone blocks. Okay. Anyway, let's go look at the church. I I feel I feel really good about it. I didn't do a lot. Not a lot done. Did I hear something? Hello? Hello? Anyone? No? Okay. I didn't do a lot like of, of, of dramatic things because I didn't feel like it needed dramatic. I think that it, it looks good. I added some campfires under this, uh, uh, some some nature. So this is their pond of like rejuvenation, you know, and um, I'm trying to figure out the lighting situation. It's, it's a lot of lanterns. I, I, I wish that there was, I, I wish that there was like a more powerful light or something that you could use. So I wouldn't have to have quite this many just to keep this place fairly safe, uh, but Oh, missed you, Torch, and missed you, Torch. And I think there are probably a, a block here or there that, that are not um, mob mob proof, but I, I, I can live with that. I'm not even going to take the plunge right now, but if you look down here, it's just a void with lava at the bottom. Uh, kind of the standard. I wasn't sure if I wanted to go void, if I wanted to go leaves, or what I want to do, but you know what? In the end, uh, it's fine. <laughs> it's fine. It'll, it'll look like you're falling into the end. I think that's cool. One thing I did on these that I've never done before, usually I just did these straight across, and this time I actually turned the corner. I really, really like it. I don't know why I haven't done that before, but it allows you to attach a fence here for, for lighting or for like a little bush or whatever you want to do. It, it's it's super nice. The other thing I was going to do, and I'm not totally sure that if, if I am or not, I, I don't think I'm going to, is I was going to add a lot of purple carpet, but I've been thinking about it and thinking about it, and I don't I don't think that it's necessary in this church. Like so, some, some, yeah, some might need it. I, I, I kind of like this being really woody and stuff like that. Little arches up here, I think those are nice size. Those are so simple. I use those a lot. Just stairs. It, it's nice. It gives a little bit of a interest, but it's, it's super simple. And yeah, I think it's cool. Some other little, like wee little things I was going to do. Let me see here. Uh, stone bricks. Yeah, that's what I'm looking for, I think. Is it stone brick? What is that? What is that? That's insight. Is that insight? What? Uh, oh yeah, that's insight. Yeah, it's so hard to tell. It's, it's so similar in, uh, in the dark. Like whenever it's not really well lit up, it's really, really, really similar. So let me let me see. Let me grab a little bit of insight here and my stone cutter, and let's make some of these, and let's make some of these. Okay. Well, let's see. Let's. See. I don't know if this is gonna be necessary or not, but I'm just thinking maybe we could go. Oh wait. Oh wait. Did I... Oh, I just missed this one. Oh, see, see, this one like steps up with uh with stairs, and and this one apparently I just forgot. I I, got, I think I just didn't do it. Oh, that's funny. Um. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's exactly what happened. So I just I just forgot. I really just love the look of this church. I just, I think it's really cool. I think it matches the Arbor Druids really well. I think it gives just, just the right feel, just the right amount of like nature and church to the end and the whole thing. Also, it's a great place to repair tools and uh, what the heck, that's pretty cool, right? Now, all that being said about the interior, there's a couple things on the outside, the exterior that still need some work. Like for example, these uh, bridges up here, they are not done at all and i don't love them this aqueduct thing here i i love the concept of it i just don't think that it's quite there yet i think these are a little maybe a little thin i knew they were thin so i tried to make a lot of them i thinking that would help uh but there's a bigger problem and the bigger problem is over here you can see that there are some really big gaps in the natural drain gen and I, you know, I don't really want to do a lot of landscaping here. Like, I don't want to do massive overhaul landscaping, but look at this. There's just, I mean, I think it'd look ridiculous to have one of these coming the whole way up from the bottom. So I'm not totally sure what I want to do. There's another, there's another one over, over here. Well, you can't really see it with that mountain peak, but, uh, 
You can if we walk over here. Yeah, see this big peak. I mean, that's a huge ravine there. So I don't know. This thing I just made just a really simple little tower. Easy, easy, easy. But uh, yeah, and the water actually does flow. It does. The water does flow. Let me think. I can make this. Nope. Wow, that was a really fast ender pearl, but I didn't make it. Uh, then this water does flow and it does pour into the hot springs here, which I think is really, really, really cool. So, so yeah. So there's actually a way. Oh. Hot springs, hot springs are hot. Yeah, uh, there actually is a way up if you just do this, right? And yeah, so just like little things, like I'd like to have have these clamps maybe go around. I'd like to make these bigger. I just need to come up with the design. So let, let, let's do this. If you're watching this and you think, hey, I know how, I know what can make these support situations better while keeping with the general feel, okay? That's gonna be the idea. I wanna keep with the general feel, but if you can figure out a way to improve it, then uh, that would be amazing. Send me a uh, send me a message. Send me a picture on Twitter or, or Instagram or whatever. Okay, uh, these things here I'm gonna actually change out for a, a block and then a um, a stair. I, I I changed uh, I changed my mind halfway through building this. See, this is where I changed it. All these ones over here are, are the uh, the full block. But yeah, I, I thought it'd be better to just use uh, planks instead of uh, wood there. But anyway, yeah. C could you help me out? Help me out. Uh, come up with a little bit better of a design because I I don't I don't think that this is it. I, I don't I don't think it's far off, but I don't think it's it at the same point. So um, let's head back over to Anders Rest and talk about next episode. This entire area of Anders Rest is just coming along so well. I love it. I love it. I can't wait to get the leaf canopy flown in. I did talk to Mollus. I talked to Mollus about maybe doing some of that because I, I'll be totally honest. I, I'm nervous. You know, I, I'm not I'm not great at organic shapes. It's not something that has ever been really something I'm focused on. And Mollus is. So I'm hoping that maybe she, who's such a master, will do one of the canopies. And then from that point on, we can sort of, you know, we can sort of go from there and and. and if we want to copy it or, or however, edit it or, you know, things like that. But um, at least get a good head start. I'd like to see what her sort of artistic eye thinks of. But this is where I left off two episodes ago. Well, last episode, I guess. And and this is where I want to, I want to continue working uh, next time is I want to keep, keep working on this. Now that some time has passed since we did this couple days, I have some different thoughts about it. Now, we're not going to change it. I mean, it is, it's nice. It's it's a good uh, amphitheater. Amph? It is amphitheater. Is that right? Amphitheater. Anyway, it's it's a good one. It, it looks it looks cool. Things are good, but there's obviously some unpolished things. There's some grass, some stone. Uh, I want to put some boxes up here. I, I think some box seats for the very wealthy uh, halflings. I think that would be really cool. Like the they don't want to have anything to do with the the masses here. They want to have their own sort of box luxury seats. So I think that would be really cool and give a nice outside aesthetic. Because if you look around at the outside, there are parts I really like and then parts I don't like. Now some of it's not edited. Like this is just plain andesite. That's going to be obviously we'll mix that in. That, that's sort of how we do things around here as we we do some gradients and all that kind of stuff so we'll do all that kind of stuff this needs to go this all needs to be landscaped uh the road needs to be sort of fixed and so yeah and there's no front and there's no front there needs to be a gate area so this is what we're working on next time but in the meantime i'd love over the weekend i'd love to see any uh, any suggestions you have for the supports over in adri or maybe some uh, some help over here that'd be so that'd be super cool i'd love love to get a little community participation in these builds because you know i i'm not i'm not totally sure that i have uh a slamming idea on these next couple things so yeah so any any help uh, send me a picture on discord or or dm me a, a picture on twitter or or whatever you can even e uh, email me if you want to uh fix it uh 412 at gmail.com anyway uh that is going to do it for me i am out thanks so much for thanks so much for watching thanks so much for spending part of your day with me everyone have a great weekend and and i'll see you on monday uh we're back to 10 30 a.m vast in releases on monday wednesday and friday 10 30 a.m set your clocks so you, you, your alarms i mean set your clocks too if they're wrong <laughs> okay i'm i'm bumbling because it's very late okay bye everyone Thank you.